November 10th. A word in season to the weary by Brother Box Singh. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Ephesians 6:18. Naphtali means wrestling. Genesis chapter 30 verse 8. Jacob wrestled with God and said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. Genesis chapter 32 verse 26. Abraham interceded with God for Sodom and Gomorrah with much reverence. We also have the privilege of going to God to travail and intercede for God's people and God's servants scattered in different parts of the world. We cannot go personally to every place, but we can pray. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Such intercession is wrestling with God. When we come to know the needs of different people, their sufferings and their problems, we should begin to wrestle with God for them. As our prayer circle goes on widening we will find that we are drawn closer to the heart of God. I have found traveling by train very helpful for prayer. I have spent whole nights in praying for people all over the world, for their salvation, safety and anointing. While traveling in crowded trains, without any reservation even, we can spend time profitably in prayer. Thus we shall forget our discomfort, and shall rejoice in praying for others. That is how we are drawn near to the heart of God. Many years ago I was in Victoria, Canada. I received a message from an old lady who fractured her spinal cord and was encased in plaster of Paris. She was in much pain for most of the time. When I went to see her in the small room where she lived, she told me, I am thankful to the Lord for keeping me in bed like this. This gives me plenty of time to pray for many of the Lord's servants. Several years before, she wanted to become a foreign missionary but for some reason had been unable to do so. But now, she continued, when I am in pain and unable to sleep, the Lord reminds me to pray for one servant of God and another in different parts of the world. This was the ministry given to her by God. Victoria is a seaport and ships from many parts of the world halt there. Thus missionaries from many countries pass through this town. This sister had a list of all servants of God who also passing through and she would invite them to come and see her. Someone informed her about me and so she gave an invitation to me also. When I went to see her, her face was shining with happiness. She told me how she had been praying for me for many years. Only in eternity shall we know the great things which God has done in answer to her prayers and in and through the lives of all the saints, and servants of God for whom she had been interceding. We all can have this privilege of wrestling in prayer.